Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a really, 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 really good recording of Prokofiev's second and Tchaikovsky's first piano concertos. Yeah, can you see who's doing it? No, I mean, here. There. There you go. It's with Hao Chen Zhang piano with the Lati Symphony Orchestra under, let's see, who's this? D oh, good Lord. Dima Slob Slobodeniuk. Ukrainian, I guess. Sloba Deniuk um, on bis. Bis, wonderful sound. They make such great sounding recordings in Lati. I, I have to say, um, I, I sort of ignored this when it came out because, you know, there's just so much stuff. And so much of it is very good. And, and But I heard his Beethoven Piano Concerto cycle with Natalie Stutzman in the Philly, which is marvelous. And Jed had reviewed his you know, Van Cliburn competition disc or whatever, which I haven't heard, frankly, but said it was quite good. And, you know, he's worth hearing, it seems. So I got this and I said, well, you know, I, I'll take it out and I'll listen to it and we'll give it a shot. And it's marvelous. It's marvelous. The Prokofiev particularly is just unbelievably good. You know, it, it, it's, a, it's a concerto that a lot of pianists do well because it's not, a piece of music that requires, well, let's face it, great intellectual stamina, it requires physical stamina. I mean, it can. It has beautiful expressive melodies, of course. I mean, it's not like, you know, chopped liver, if you know what I mean. But but it's about virtuosity and, and bravura and showmanship. I mean, it has no real slow movement other than the opening movement and that slow interlude in the beginning, in the, in the middle, pardon me, of the finale. Um, oh, such a beautiful tune too. Da 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 da. da, da. Oh, wonderful, 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 wonderful piece. And you know, it's come into its own because you know the piano concerto that everybody played by Prokofiev was the third, and sometimes the first. I mean, the third's the real popular one, and it's the one in the most traditional form, and it has like really good tunes. And this one's in four movements, and it's bigger and longer and crazier, and to my mind, more interestingly structured. You know, you have this slow opening with two themes, and then this totally insane cadenza that takes up half the movement. Uh, it, it's one of the most glorious things in the piano literature. And oh my, does he play it? He really, really plays it. My gosh, it's very effective. He builds it very, very excitingly. I was really impressed by how he manages to to keep you know going from climax to climax without letting us down at the next peak really tremendous the only problem i have with this recording and anything we'll talk about some of the other things a little a little in a moment the only problem is that the lati symphony is a small orchestra um, it's really a big chamber orchestra in some ways in terms of number of strings and whatnot. And so for the big tune in the beginning of the Tchaikovsky or at that big climax, he's great. The orchestra's great. The brass come roaring in, but you just want more strings. You want more weight of tone in the strings. It's Russian music. It's got to have, you know, bottom. And, and, and with Tchaikovsky, you know, the violins have to just soar. They try. They're doing their best. But it's just a question of numbers. I mean, the sonics are stupendously marvelous um, and very natural. So they're not faking it. And um, it's a tiny, tiny point. It really is. But it's a point. It's a point nonetheless. So that's that. But as for, as for Mr. Zhang here... Well, I mean, the second movement of the Prokofiev is that insane toccata. This is such a beautifully shaped performance of it. You actually, in that constant patter of notes, you have so much variety of shaping and contrast and melody and the, or and the, and the balance between the piano and the orchestra is stupendous. I mean, I have to say, Slobodeniuk here, that's his name, yes. Slobodeniuk does a wonderful job accompanying and finds all kinds of character in the, in the orchestral parts. When the opening of the third movement comes, it's that march. It's a bum, jung, bum, jung, bum, jung. Yeah, that, 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 it's mechanical music. It's machine music, and it's it's just fantastically rigid <laughs> and mechanical. And then when it has these sort of, you know, lyrical bits that pop in, you know, they, they make such a marvelous contrast to that. Like I said, that slow interlude in the finale is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Now the Tchaikovsky. Well, like I said, I wish there were more strings, but the performance itself is a very 
satisfying normal performance. I mean, he doesn't do anything crazy. He plays it with complete ease and freedom. Um, it's expressively on point at every at every moment. The first movement, the first movement of this concert, let's face it, is formally. <laughs> It's all over the place. I mean, in a nice way. It's got great tunes and all that stuff, but, you know, it hangs together quite well here. It can just go to pieces. You know, you don't really ever know where you are in it because it's kind of formally dysfunctional, but that's okay. I mean, we love it anyway. We love it for the tunes. Good enough. And the slow movement is sensitive and delightful. The central interlude is, is zippy and quicksilver. And the finale is perfectly paced. It's not the kind of like, you know, Martha Argerich or Vladimir Horowitz and Sell, you know, jump all over it sort of thing. It's a Russian dance. It has a nice accentuation, beautiful, you know, approach to the second subject, which is, of course, the big tune. It's very, very nicely done. There's no dead spots anywhere. But the Prokofiev, for me, is the outstanding item on here because that really is extraordinary, whereas the Tchaikovsky is very, very good. But the total is an excellent, excellent album. So um, I recommend it accordingly, and I, I hope you get a chance to listen to it or stream it or do something. Certainly for the Prokofiev, the Tchaikovsky is quite lovely, and I'm happy. I'm happy. I was happy. I've enjoyed it several times already, and it, it really... It really uh, struck me as a magnificent achievement. I hate these bis echo pack, say, you know, factory sealed for your protection, you know, <clears throat> toilet seat cover sticky things. I have to complain about something, right? I mean, fortunately, you don't find these anymore on bis CDs. They finally decided to like not mess up their artwork and whatnot with these re this silly nonsense. Anyway. Keep on listening, friends. Take care.